This podcast is part of the Bomb Pod Media Network. From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. President Trump has overtaken Pope Francis as the most followed person on Twitter because people can't help but slow down to get a good look at a car crash. Professional surfer Andre Cotton is recuperating after suffering a broken neck. He was minding his own business on his surfboard when he was mysteriously attacked by Rand Paul's neighbor. Hey, does your Nutella taste funny? Well, there could be a reason for that. Ferrero, the maker of the hazelnut cocoa spread, has changed the recipe without announcing that they were going to do so. Instead, the Hamburg Consumer Protection Center, a German consumer group, noticed the difference and posted about it on Facebook. The sugar content went from 55.9% to 56.3%, while skim milk powder went from 7.5% to 8.7%. That probably caused some cocoa to be lost in the new recipe, which would explain why the new version is slightly lighter in color. Meanwhile, the fat content went from 31% to 30.9%. Ferrero confirms changes have been made to the recipe but insists the quality and all other aspects of Nutella remain the same. Twitter, of course, is very unhappy and already started calls to hashtag boycott Nutella. One unhappy customer tweeted, don't experiment with my brown jar of happiness. Another added, I mean, should I even get out of bed today? You know, it's kind of hard to know which is more nutty here – Nutella or the people on Twitter who use it. Hidden Valley is offering a special 5-liter keg of their ranch dressing, although that is a pretty good indicator that you're using way too much on your salad. A Florida woman was arrested last Monday, being accused of swapping barcodes on items at Walmart and paying just $3.70 for $1,800 in electronics. What? You mean… This big screen TV is not on sale for 86 cents? Are you saying I'm lying? Do you believe in life after death? Well, physicist Sean Carroll of the California Institute of Technology says the laws of physics make it impossible. After extensive studies, Carroll says for there to be an afterlife, our consciousness would need to be entirely separated from our physical body, which it's not. He says consciousness is a series of atoms and electrons which give us our mind. The laws of the universe do not allow these atoms and electrons to continue to operate after our bodies have died. Writing in Scientific American, he says there's no way within those laws to allow for the information stored in our brains to persist after we die. Carroll explains that quantum field theory, or QFT, suggests there is one field for each type of particle. So all photons in the universe are on one level, all electrons in the universe are on another level, and so on. He concludes if it's really nothing but atoms and the known forces, there's clearly no way for the soul to survive death. And obviously, this, this guy is at the height of arrogance and has obviously never seen Ghostbusters anytime recently. Now Sears is looking to sell up to 140 more stores to help make ends meet. If they're going to survive, they need to start selling stuff you can't find anywhere else. You know, maybe start stocking the shelves with buggy whips, uh, laser disc players, VHS tapes, and transistor radios. Disney is planning a Star Wars TV show for its new streaming service. It is about time. I've been saying for years that Jar Jar Binks deserves his own show. It's kind of well known that police officers frequent donut shops, right? So that makes 35-year-old Nathan Pizzardi of Denver one of the dumbest guys we've ever seen in, well, in quite some time at least. He's charged with selling methamphetamines and heroin from the parking lot of a Dunkin' Donuts where he worked. Pizzardi was seen making the sales in uniform and, in some cases, with his drive through window headset still on. Detectives said he would leave the store, make sales in the parking lot. After watching all of this go down, of course they arrested him and then got a dozen glazed to go. It's the most wonderful time of the year here at Marlar House. Every year at this time, I ask you to join me in bringing a Christmas miracle to those who are starving around the world. Right now, you can give a financial gift of any size to Food for the Poor by clicking the Give Life banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. For each $50 we raise, it's another child in the Caribbean or Latin America who will be fed for an entire year and will receive clean water for life. 
be as generous as you can. And also, please encourage your friends and family to give as well by sharing the link to DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com so they can click on the Give Life banner as well. And thank you in advance for whatever you can give. Get the Daily Dose of Weird News podcast for Apple or Android at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And please leave a review on iTunes if you like the show. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos.